everyone so now we are going to do one lab that is for NTP in this uh, video we are going to learn how we can configure NTP in the router or we can take switch okay this is a small lab in this one we are going to learn how we can configure the NTP in the Cisco router okay first of all let me tell you what is NTP network time protocol network time protocol is a NTP in simple what he is going to do he is going to provide the time we have the server okay NTP server NTP server the role of this NTP server is to give the time to our network devices the function of this NTP server is to give the time to our network device why we need the time because uh, for uh, logs and for many things we need the accurate time maybe you will see you will say I have example two router I will configure manually the time here why we need the server NTP server imagine your organization is very big you have so many devices so many things so all the devices should have the accurate time seconds millisecond everything should be same if you configure here manually maybe here here something different a small difference in the millisecond seconds in the seconds you will have the difference so we should not have the difference all the device should have the same time so how we can achieve that one by using the network time protocol okay why we need why we need the same time for troubleshooting purpose this is very important if you are doing some troubleshooting you should have the time stamp if you have the correct time stamp it is easy for you to do that troubleshooting so you should know how to configure the NTP okay you need to learn how we can enable the NTP in the router imagine we will have one server here imagine we will have NTP server you have Cisco router so you will connect the cable to the NTP server and how we can configure so this router should get the time from the NTP server we are going to learn now in this lab that one okay so what I will do I will take the router you can take any router I am taking the 2811 I will give the name is R1 and what I will do I will take the server if you see this is a server we can say this is a NTP server NTP server okay this is a NTP server I am giving the name and let me give the IP 192.168.1.1 okay let me write here somewhere here so we should know what is the IP for this server 1.100 I give 1.100 let me assign the IP to the server I will go here I will assign here 192.168.1.100 and then I will give the default gateway we will give the default gateway as a router IP okay router IP and this router we are going to give the IP let me connect okay and here we are going to give the IP to this interface as 192.168.1.1 this is a small scenario you need to get the time to this R1 from the NTP server if I go here if I check here in the router what time we are getting it will be not correct time not accurate inaccurate okay we will cross check okay let me open here this is the router so what I will do I will write here no enable show clock with this one we can check if you see in the all Cisco devices especially in the router we will have this time you, even if you buy new Cisco router you will get this time that is March 1 1993 anyhow no problem now we need to enable the NTP server so a simple command we have we need to type that one to enable the uh, that uh, in the device so our router can get that time from the server first of all we need to assign the IP after that we can do so let me go here I will go interface fast Ethernet 0 by 0 and then I will write IP address 192.168.1.1 give space 255.255.255.0 then we need to write no shirt okay let me save and let's verify show IP interface brief so we have the IP here if you see the link go up if you check show clock you have the incorrect time okay and here in the server if you go inside the server there is a services okay you need to go to the services and if you see here all the services this is the NTP network time protocol we can power off this one or power on by default it is power on only so let's keep power on if you want to enable the authentication you can enable here 
when you enable the authentication whatever key password you are using you need to configure here but now I am not enabling the authentication just I put server is on and if you see this is a time currently so what I will do I need to go to the router and I need to configure that one so I will go in the global configuration mode whenever we want to do any configuration we will go in the global configuration mode then we need to write NTP server okay and after that you need to define the IP address of that server so I am standing here I want to get uh, get the time from this server what is the server IP server IP is 192.168.1.100 so we will write 192.168.1.100 okay this way I assign the uh, what we can say we configure we are asking the router you can get the time from this server okay so now router is going to sync the time from the server he is going to synchronize the time from the server whatever time is coming in the server that will come to the router if you have 10 router you can configure same this command so all the 10 router is going to get the accurate time because this is a small lab that's why I taken only one router we can take 10 router or 20 router maybe 20 switches we can do that way also but now concept is very important you need to understand the concept and later you can do yourself you can take 10 20 router and connect with the switch and do the configuration okay so now let's see show clock it will take some time still it is showing the old one okay still it is taking the old time still it is not updated we can check we I can reach the server or not 192.168.1.100 if you see I am able to access the server server I can see I am able to ping it is working so it will take some time to synchronize still it is not if you don't want to wait you can press this fast forward in the packet tracer but in the real scenario you need to wait some time in the real scenario you need to wait for some time but if you don't want to wait here in this lab then you can press this fast forward still I did not press if you want I will do okay if you do like this fast forward then if you do here it will come immediately okay if you see now 3rd August 2022 and whatever time is going on it came everything successfully what I done I press the fast forward when we press the fast forward it will sync immediately okay but in real scenario we cannot do fast forward we need to wait we need to wait only then only we will get the accurate time okay so what we told this is a server SRV1 we can say and this is a router you can do the lab you take one switch here and connect the five router take the different IP like 1.2 1.3 1.4 and try to configure this is a command to configure that one and then wait for some time and check all the routers are getting correct time or not okay this is a sample lab with this one you have the idea how we can uh, enable the NTP configuration in the router so router is going to sync the time from the server okay I hope it is clear for you thank you see you